to another episode and we're back on the Volvo Amazon. So if you haven't caught the last episode, me and Matt ripped apart that B18 engine that has been sat in this car since 1978. Absolutely done nothing, completely seized. And uh, yeah, we'll get on to that in a few minutes of how we've gotten with that because we did leave you with two pistons still stuck in the car. And yeah, it wasn't looking great, but the engine was pointing to a low mileage engine. So if you haven't seen that video, please go check it out. Um, it was very, for me, I haven't ever really done anything like that. I've done some, some head work on cars and that is it. Pulling an engine apart to that extent, I found so fascinating and so exciting to do. I really, really enjoyed it. So yeah, we'll get stuck into that in a second. But in this episode, we're back on with the bodywork. So if you haven't caught previously, we've done all the cowl panel, all the flip, the, uh, not in classic mini mode here, all the uh, internal panel along there, the inner wing, that's all repaired, that wing sat on. I am 99.9% .9 happy with where it's sitting. I just need to tweak the front panel, um, but we can do all that because it's just nuts and bolts. This side, we've got to do exactly the same. We've got the cowl panel to put in, um, but we've got the bonnet release slash just to swap over. So it's a little bit different. This side so far, you've just seen, I started going down that post to see if it's saveable, and it's not too bad. So we'll get stuck in town in a second. Just a few pinholes and stuff to tidy up, which we'll get onto. Like I mentioned with this car, I want to keep as much of the original car as possible. I don't want to be cutting up parts of it that just don't need to be cut up. I'm trying to repair what is left of the original shell, which is a lot of it. It's quite good, this car. <laughs> um, and I want to keep it as much original metal as possible in there. I don't see the point in chopping up cars for absolutely no necessary reason. So that is what's happening in this episode. We're aiming to get the cow panel in and then we can just build forward like we did in, uh, on the other side. But first of all, let's go check out that engine. Mm. Oh, can't beat a good brew. Right, so the engine, you will notice if you're halfway decent at counting, there is four pistons. Crank is out, everything's in order. Me and Matt, off camera, we kept soaking and soaking and soaking these bores and we've got all four pistons out. This block, bar, some brackets, um, and we still got the cam and the cam gear. We're just gonna get a puller to get this off. Um, it's stripped now. The block's kind of ready to rock and roll, ready for machine work. Um, we'll crack on with what we're gonna do with the engine in the next episode. So that's like that, and then, if you follow me, um, the head here, we haven't really touched it. Um, it's got the original copper gasket, which might looks original to me. Doesn't look like it's blown either, so that isn't the reason why it's come off the road. Um, I think it's just been parked up for something else, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, the head needs a lot of work, but from looking at it, there's a lot of low mileage pointers on this engine. This is all very, very good news, guys. Um, I spoke in the previous episode of what I wanted to do with the car and I want to keep the engine standard. We've saved it. We've caused no damage to the block getting this engine out um, and stripped. So I really want to save this engine. If anyone has got any experience in the UK with somewhere good to send the block and the head just to have it checked out. I want it like honed. I want to try and use the pistons if I can. If not, replace them with like for likes, new rings. Not modifying it. If I can help it, I don't want to bore it or do anything like that. Head needs to convert into unleaded and stripping, you know, pressure testing and all that sorting. Everything needs cleaning. And then we're going to do a budget rebuild of it. I say budget, basically use as much of the original as we can. New gaskets, new bits where needed, but keep the B18. None that's matching. Less than 7,000 miles car. Because it's pointing to that because... Yeah, well, we'll get stuck into another episode. This episode. We're down here with the cowl panel. So there's a bit of wood in here just protecting the interior. Um, and some various bits and pieces in there stopping the interior. So you've just seen me run down this post. This is definitely saveable. Cut my hand already. I'm gonna have to repair up here like I did on the other side, um, just where the inner wing meets. Um, but this scuttle panel is really not half as bad as it was on the other side. Um, clean back this edge, clean back this edge. Um, and then we can look at getting these panels in. So these are the panels. Uh, which we're gonna get fitted in. So if you flip that round, that's that one. So you can see this is what's left of it. We cut this piece off, because this is replicated on the other panel. Um, but what we do need to save on this side, which is different, is just this bonnet pull, this big, heavy, sturdy thing. So without further ado, let's get stuck into it. I'm gonna get the grinder out, I'm gonna get cleaning, and we're gonna try and get this cow panel in today. It'd be really, really cool if we could, because then the car's all sealed up again. Um, and uh, yeah, we can push forward with the inner wing and get the wing lined up in the next episode. Right, let's get to it.
Right guys, so I'm tidying up this edge. I'll show you in a sec, but we found a little bit more rot. Um, I was shocked to not find it on the other side, to be fair, but we found a bit here. Not bad, but let's get you stuck into this. So I'm just grab the torch, which is inside here. Right, so if you look there, there is a bit of a hole. So let me just put you guys down. All right guys, so there is the flange. You can see all this is nice and clean back. Uh, I've done it all at the top as well, but as I was just coming in here, I was just picking out a big chunk of seam sealer um, and I was just chipping away the sound deadening because obviously you don't want to weld anywhere near any of this. I thought, all right, I'll just go back and just see if there's any, any rot. Um, and we've just got this little area here, which is, it looks kind of worse than it is to be fair, um, but it doesn't go back any further. It's kind of, it comes up to basically about about there so kind of like a nice square piece to put in and then i'll probably put a flange on it there so while i've got this access i'm going to get in there we're going to get that sorted it make, just makes the most sense to me so we're going to cut this piece out as a template and then we're going to put a piece in the back of there might as well it seems silly to try and struggle inside when we've got this big hole in the side of the car so let's get that done all this tow board here is really solid you can see that's nice fresh metal ready to weld um so yeah it's literally just repair that and then we can start mocking a new panel up All right, so as you can see, that's a bit easier now. You can see kind of where the rot is. Um, there is a chassis beam that runs, you can just see a spot weld just there. Uh, so there's a chassis beam that runs kind of under there. It's kind of through the center. So we'll be able to plug weld back onto that as well, which is good. So what I'm trying to do is trying to get it off the tow board here and then peeling it out. So it shouldn't take too long, but it is only that little square, which I'm quite happy with. So I'll get this out, guys. It's getting quite hard to get a camera in there. Um, I'll get this out, we'll make a new piece, I'll get that welded in. So here's the uh, repair patch coming on. Fits really nice and flush along there and along there. It just needs tapping down. Uh, I've got a little return flange there just so I can marry it up and give it a bit more strength. And then obviously we just put a few stitches onto there. But um, underneath, I'm just gonna zinc prime the chassis rail and this, and then we can get this welded in. And then hopefully we can crack on with the <laughs> closing panel we started this video for. So let's get this sorted, get this prepared. So I've cleaned out all in that chassis rail and all primed as far as I can get. Underside of this is all primed, so it's a case of just getting that in its place now, tapping it down and start getting some welds on it. Right, so there's that all sorted. The paint gun just exploded in that corner. So I've got like a pool of paint, but pretty happy with that. So once it's sound deadened again, with we're, we're gonna get the interior out and clean all the sound deadening off. But once it's sound deadened, you wouldn't know. So pretty happy at that. Right, let's get this, this gap filled. Right, so I've been plugging away. I haven't done any, any filming of this because all it is is cleaning back these faces, but we've got all that cleaned. We're cleaning all the way up there. Um, there's a few pinholes just there, which I'll sort out, but. It's all good and solid, it's nice, it's cleaned up well. Um, there's a little repair that like on the other side I've got to do up in there, but it's not too bad. And then basically I've got this, this is all basically ready to go on now. I just need to drill the holes uh, for all the plug welds all the way around there and uh, go from there. You can probably hear the cows about to be fed, it's quite noisy, um, but yeah, get in there. I love working on this car, it's mint. So I'll bring you guys in in a bit. Uh, take you over to the bench, we'll get all these holes punched in. Uh, then we seam weld, stitch weld, stitch weld, plug weld, and get this panel in, and then the car's back enclosed again. Um, and then we can work on the inner wing on the next episode, but let's get this prepped and get this in.
Alrighty guys. <laughs> oh, that felt like it took forever. Um, it's on. I definitely think I did a better job the other side. Um, this panel didn't quite fit as nice. It fitted really, really nice and flush that side. Um, Taking a bit of tweak in this side, but we're on. It's fine. It is what it is. It's going to get seam sealed, stone chipped, and then the inner wing is obviously going to go over the top of that, and then the outer wing over the top of that. It's just got to be geared, got to be solid, and in the right place, which it is. So, um, you've just seen me then just finishing off. I've just taken the bonnet pull tab off the old bit of panel, and now we're going to just reach in and we're going to just um, stitch weld that to this new panel. Um, on the B post, or yeah, A post, uh, I've put like little arrows where it should be, but obviously we have that internal, internal trim panel, which we can then just test, test fit to make sure it pokes out the right hole of that panel. So we'll sort that out now, um, but I'll just show you it here. There's the panel, it's all in. It's all like seam welded all the way around. In the end, I didn't have to drill any holes as you probably noticed, um, because this one sat a little bit further back. So I've literally just seam welded all the way up it. Um, and then a new panel will butt off and join onto there like we had when we had a nice seam up there with this panel and that panel. This is that, this I've just cleaned up. So this is ready to go back on. Um, so obviously we need this to be able to locate the bonnet pole again. So we'll get that put on now. And uh, yeah, we should be golden. That's the last job I think for this video. And then we can call cow panel surprise floor repair done. And then we'll be on to the inner wing in the next episode. All right, so as you can see, nice penetration on the welds there. And I'll just show you on the inside. And you see there, it's just stitched on. Quite happy with that, it's rock solid. So it's not how it was before, but. Right, so in hindsight, I should have maybe put that tab on, but I was really, really kind of, I wanted it in the right place. I wanted to use, because the trim clips onto the back part of the B pillar, not the new panel I put on. So I knew whatever I did, that it would go back where it was factory. Um, so at the end of the day, it's back where it was. It's, it matches my measurements. So yeah, happy with that. All it's got to do is hold a bonnet pull. So it's, um, it's not like it's structural or anything like that, but it's actually got some really nice welds on it. And I'm quite happy with that. Right, so what is next for the Volvo Amazon? Obviously, we're missing a big chunk of metal from here. That's the next point of call really for it. Um, if you haven't caught the previous videos of this, uh, me and Matt got the engine pulled apart. It's been seized since 78. Um, and we are kind of in the process now where we need to start cleaning things back. Um, what we're gonna do is kind of build it back together uh, as a short block with the crank and the pistons and stuff in. And then I really need to find someone in the Northwest that can just take on the machining. I don't want it really modified or anything. I just wanna have the head redone um, and ports honed and stuff like that. I just, you know, renew rings and then build it back up as a standard engine. It'd be really nice to have this coming along metal wise and the engine built up along next, next to it because then all we gotta do is clean up all the suspension, put that back together. And then once the car is kind of painted on the inside and the suspension's back together, the engine can go back in really. Um, and then we can focus on the outside of the car and getting that nice. I say that like there's nothing to do, there's a lot to do. Um, but it's exciting. Like I say, this is a dream car of mine, so it's very, very exciting. So I'm gonna go and get some primer on this, get this all tidied up. But yeah, it's a nice, nice, nice day. Well, this has happened over a week, this video, um, but it's been it's been fun. It's uh, it's been really good. We've got a lot, a lot coming in this on this channel, guys, so make sure you're subscribed. Also consider becoming a member of the channel, it would massively help me out. Um, it just pays to keep the roof over our heads here and some bits and bobs and it you know it's it's just a mint community that we're creating in their content and all the comments below is you guys that create that community so a big thank you to you for you all right i think it's time for another cup of tea and tidy up this absolute mess of a workshop catch you soon guys